Hi, welcome to tutorial number 41 for CSCI 130 Introduction to Programming here at the University of Wisconsin Parkside. In this chapter, we're going to be working with arrays, global variables, and combo boxes. Now, what is an array? An array is a um, variable that is going to be able to store multiple data items inside. For example, before in the other chapters when we declare a variable, um, for example, a grade, and we say dim grade as integer, we were declaring in memory a space to store one integer, one numerical value, an integer for a grade for a student. But let's suppose that we want to store 25 grades for a classroom. Then, with that approach, we will have to define 25 variables, like grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, I mean, 4 and 5, up and so on, up to 25. If we use arrays, we can define just one single variable that we call grades. And then we're going to say, you know what, we need 25 slots or 25 spaces to store 25 numbers inside that variable, because we're going to have 25 students. Now, how is that we're going to make a distinction between, well, among all students with an index like we did with these boxes? Remember that the first item in a, in a list box we call it 0, 1, 2, and 3, and so on. So we're going to do the same. We're going to say grades 0 will be student number 1, grades 1 will be student number 2. But they are all in one variable. The name of the variable is grades. When we talk about grades, we're talking about all 25 values, all 25 students. When we're talking a particular student, we say grades 6, and that will be the 7th student. Okay, so let's see what else we have in this chapter. So in this part, it says that each element in the array is going to be uh, referenced by an index, and the index started at 0, and, um, and it's going to be the last index of the last element is going to be whatever is the length of the array. If we go with the example of 25 grades, the last one will be 24 and the first one will be 0. This is an example that they have on figure 17.7 in which they have a variable that is net units sold. That's the name of the variable. And then we can see there that they have 12, no, 13, 13 uh, cells in that array. So again, it's just the name of one variable, so that is made very convenient. But we're going to manipulate 13 numbers. So, for example, the 7 number here, the 7 element, I'm sorry, in the in the array, is going to be net, net unit sold 6, which is a 0. The first element, look at that, has a 0 as as an in, as a index reference and a value. And, and the second one is, is the value is 10, and the index is 1. Now, what else do we need? Well, we need to know how we're going to declare arrays. And we're going to declare arrays just like the other variables. We're going to say deem name of the array as integer. The only difference is now that we're going to have that opening and closing parentheses that's going to say, hey, that is going to have multiple values. Now, how is that we can specify how many? So here, there are three different examples of declaring the same thing. For example, the temperatures at double. They have open and close in parentheses. So I don't know how many, but then that one is being initialized. It says equal, and then it says new double. So because they are considered objects, when uh, variables are considered objects in, 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 in Visual Basic, we need to use the new, like create an object. And then there it says 0, 2, 3 on the very first example. That means we're going to have four elements. So the elements there are 23.45, 34.98, 78.98, 53.23. Uh, so that's one possibility. Or the other example, which is, is, is very convenient, it says dim temperature as double. So that open and close in parentheses says that's an array. I'm going to have multiple values. Which one of the four multiple values? Whether well, there are one, two, three, four values there. And then... The last example, so these are just three different ways of doing the same thing. They mean the same. The last one is a new double. The three is the upper bound. 
the index. So it is it, basically the last index of this array is going to be three. That means I'm going to have four elements, and then I'm describing which one of the four elements. So those are the examples. Okay. Um, on the next tutorial, we are going to start working with the posting for this topic, which is arrays, in which we're going to use global variables and compound boxes. So I'm going to explain that on the on the next tutorial. Thank you.